morning, Britain. The nerve agent used in Salisbury to poison a former spy and his daughter could still be present at toxic levels in hot spots around the city, according to government scientists. By royal appointment, the Queen calls for Prince Charles to follow in her footsteps and lead the Commonwealth. A decision is expected today. He ran to save others. Now he's running to thank the doctors and nurses who saved him. We meet the hero policeman of the London Bridge attack. He's taking part in Sunday's marathon. And Scorchio, the unseasonally hot weather, which has seen temperatures here higher than in the Mediterranean, is set to continue over the weekend. Hurrah! Friday, 20th of April, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Hi there, good morning. Uh, welcome to the programme. It's just after six o'clock. It's Friday. It is Friday. We've made it. First week in the studio. In our new home. I Everything's know. gone well. I think we're all I don't right. Think we've I mean, broken anything, have we? I'm loving life. Yes. You're loving, you? loving life, yeah. That's because was... you've got good weather to deliver. It's Everyone always easy you. for the weather. It's always easy when, when nice. the weatherman's got good news. You do feel great about yourself. You've got a bounce in your step when you walk down the road. People are like, hey, the police are see you. But great when it's weather. raining, they throw stuff at you. <laughs> I, it was, do you know what? It was so, it was, uh, what an incredible day it was. None of that. <laughs> uh, now, are we, we're set to continue with this beautiful yeah, so weather. Yeah, so the good weather will continue over the weekend. Brilliant. So yesterday we saw, well, actually, all the home nations had their warmest day. Um, and we saw 29.1 St. James's Park, really impressive. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's been a warm uh, day yesterday and we're going to have more warm weather continuing over the weekend as well. In fact, it's not actually great news for the London Marathon, is it? Um, no, it's let's not. Let's take a look, actually. This is the forecast for the London Marathon. Um, so nine o'clock in the morning, 14 degrees. Not bad for the start, but as you can see, by the afternoon time, uh, it will rise up to around 22 degrees Celsius. So there's already some warnings about people running in costume. Um, 20 the degrees is going to be very... They? Yeah, exactly. So, Imagine the rhinoceros uh, in that. From a health heat. and safety point of view. I mean, that's sort of great, even if you're going to be running in shorts and T-shirts. So. We've just been told that Sharon Appier is running it oh. uh, on the Ooh. weekend. Is she running in a costume? <coughs> Mr Blobby? No, no. Oh, she's running in a Mr Blobby... Oh. Oh. Good, yeah, that's not oh. good, good luck to everybody that's running. Uh, yeah. It's an extraordinary yeah. event. I was talking to Rochelle Humes, who's running, uh, and we were talking about it yesterday. Very nervous about it, full stop, but the heat mm. is an extra factor, yeah. isn't it? Do you, have you done Huge the marathon? Factor. I've done it a few times, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't think my turn. body could actually cope. We've got some marathon runners Kate on Kate Garraway says as well. she's done it. <laughs>